today we'll be reviewing one of the iconic looking building right smack in the middle of the central business district of Singapore. It is Oasia Downtown Singapore. So guys, so welcome back to another hotel review. Today we'll be reviewing Oasia Hotel Downtown. And obviously this hotel needs no introduction and Oasia itself is a relatively international renowned name. So I assume non-locals will also know lah. But just jumping straight into the check-in experience, all in all, it took 13 minutes. Check-in is not on level one, it's at level 12 and level 21. One is the standard room check-in, which is level 12, and then the club room check-in at level 21. Concierge was at level one. Uh, when we took the lift all the way up to the actual check-in, uh, it was actually out outdoors or not really outdoors but sheltered and not air conditioned so yeah i would say the check-in experience was hot but without further ado let's begin this room tour what's up guys so let's begin the room tour of oasia hotel downtown club room with club benefits as you step into the room on the left is the toilet and on the right is the wardrobe on top there's nothing it's more than enough space for you to put your stuff but there's no pillow over there 10 hangers an ironing board an iron torch light and more space to put your baggage hair dryer two laundry bag two slippers one already taken by rose as you can see over on the inside there's actually a yoga mat which is really really interesting and it's red in color pretty much it for the entire wardrobe and stepping into the toilet itself you can see there's it's not really a mirror it's a very reflective thing it basically can act like a mirror so one here two here and there's one more on the wardrobe but stepping into the toilet it actually feels very very small it does have a bathtub which is rose favorite as you can see this toilet is very interesting because you can open it up so yeah standing shower over there uh rain shower hand shower and this is the standing shower area and back to the wash basin area it's actually quite shallow and I feel like I will splash everything out. And for the amenities itself, there are a couple of things. There are a lot of soap, there's shower cap, sanitary bag, vanity kit, comb, dental kit, and shaving kit. Right below it, there are a couple of towels and an additional toilet roll and an anti slip mat. For the sheeting area wise, as you can see, my right leg is already touching this and there's not really much space for me to sheet. So yeah, as mentioned, the toilet as you can see, you can just walk out and then that is the living area already. And before carrying on to the living area, I forgot to mention this one over here. This is actually the mini bar area. There are a kettle, two cups, two empty glass bottles. They encourage you to use glass bottles instead of plastic bottles. So very environmentally friendly. Right below is TWG tea and espresso machine and the coffee capsule. And right below is the mini fridge, which is really cool because if you are booking the club room, all the drinks inside are complimentary. And what you have is Coke Solar Power, which is I assume an energy drink, coconut water, H2O, and a can of chrysanthemum tea. Really cool because it's all free. And as you can see, rose over there. And right below it is the safe. And right beside the mini bar area is the study table with a table lamp, two plugs, a desk, very spacious table. Another empty drawer over there. And over on this side, you can actually put your luggage as well with a attached table. A 50 to 55 inch Samsung TV. Definitely can screen mirror. Can you put HDMI? You cannot put HDMI because the TV is very close to the wall. You can't even find the HDMI cable, so it's a little bit far. But it's a Samsung TV, so you can definitely screen mirror with a Samsung phone. And right below the TV area, like I mentioned, there's this attached table with a sofa chair also lamp over there and the window which is supposed to be the pierce the resistance but because of that as you can see this is actually the facade of the entire building and we only have this pocket of view and since there's natural vegetation over on the outside there happened to be insects and just now when we came into the room there was two millipedes millipede in the room Oh my god! And now onto the sleeping area, there's two bedside table, two hanging pendants, two reading lights, four pillows and it's a very large king size bed. On the left side, there's a phone and a TV remote with a pen and paper. Over on that side is the alarm clock. And you have this weird looking design and closing the entire bed area, which actually looks nice. And as you can see, Rose is very itching to be jumping on the bed. So here is the bed test. So apparently Rose fails the bed test. Not very nice bed. The bed fails me! One thing different from Oasia is that the aircon control over here is actually not at the entrance. It's over on the bedside table. Like I mentioned before, there are a couple of aircon remotes that are just 
not idiot proof but this one is relatively idiot proof lah so plus minus so for flooring wise as you can see there are three different materials there's the tiles here the glossy tiles in the toilet there is the matte-ish or textured tiles over on the living area and then there's carpet over here not too sure if it's too clean i mean there's a mini bit just now and rose doesn't even want me to lie down on the floor and so now we're gonna test the cleanliness of these rooms to see whether it's clean. Clean. A little bit dusty though. Can you tell? Relatively clean, I would say like 8.5 to 9.10. But that's really bit, so minus 10. <laughs> <laughs> I also forget to mention that when we did the check-in, uh, we did say that uh, it is our anniversary so they gave us this box of chocolate. And also when we did the check-in, they gave us this brown bag. So I think it's for every club member. I uh, don't know what it is. So we're gonna open it and see what it is. So this is what they gave us in this brown bag. Potato chips, nuts and even more nuts. What's up guys, so now talking a little bit about the room info, the room that we are staying is club room with club benefits, it's 28 square meters. We booked it through Traveloka at a original price of 380 but we did have a discount of $40. Relatively expensive but it's in the central business district. For the room level wise, we are located on level 24, so for the club rooms itself, it's from 22 to 25. And for the other standard rooms, they are all below level 21, so the club rooms have a high level with a nicer view. However, our view not so nice as you can can tell from the room tour and booking the club room we do have club benefits of oasia hotel downtown there are a number of benefits that you have but let me just name this one that is relatively outstanding which is the complimentary 10 minute neck and shoulder massage however it's only from tuesdays to saturdays and we are here on a sunday so since we do not have it they actually did a compensation that we are able to rent bicycles and cycle around and apart from that the other benefits are uh, it's more or less the same buffet breakfast evening cocktail Details. Wellness activities is something that you can consider. So yeah, booking the club room of Oasia has a really extensive amount of benefits and I think it's definitely worth it. Hi guys, now it's 7pm and it is time for our traditional in-room dining service speed test. But before that, we will go through with you the menu for the in-room dining. So all day dining from the marmalade pantry. For soup, starter and salad, it will ranging from about 14 to 24 to 26. And for the main, it will be about average of $30 plus. And it can be all the way to $47 for the ribeye steaks. What we're going to order is kimchi steak fried rice, $30 plus. GSD is, I don't know how much. Lah. We're going to call them and see how long it takes. Hi, can I just check? Uh, because I wanted to order in-room dining when I called the number on the phone itself. It, they, nobody picked up. Ah, okay, sir. Just give me a moment. Let me just call the restaurant for you. Sure, okay, no problem. Hi, hello. Hi. Hi. Is this in-room dining? Sure, what would you like to have? Uh, can I have one kimchi steak fried rice, please? Anything else? That'll be all. So food just came and it took 25 minutes, uh, just like what he said. And this is what we got. So we just finished dinner, we had the kimchi steak fried rice overall, I would say it's a 7.5 to 8.10. The steak was really well done, not as in the doneness, but uh, it was nice. And then uh, there's actually the, you know, the clay pot rice, the char of the clay pot rice, the hardened rice and the crispy rice, they actually have it in the kimchi fried rice itself. That elevated the taste of the entire kimchi fried rice. Total price is 35 sing dollars, so really, really expensive. But I would say it's decent for a big guy like me, it's a still very very little so yeah this is the end of day one we're gonna check out the other facilities tomorrow morning and see you guys tomorrow morning what's up guys so it's day two we're gonna talk about the gym first then we're gonna go for breakfast because i gym at 6 30 a.m in the morning the gym is 24 hours but i would say it's a really not so good gym actually i will just rate it about 4 or 5.10 reason being because there's no benches at all two machines for you to use but that two machines itself it's like a multi-purpose machine lah. and for the dumbbell you go up to 20 kg but like i mentioned there's no bench so you have to do everything almost standing two treadmill machines the incline system doesn't even 
work so you only can run at a 0.0 incline the gym is also on level 12 however there are no views at all you are actually facing the opposite residential building and now i'm going to talk a little bit about the breakfast so for the breakfast wise if you are staying in a normal room you only have one option which is level one which is the mama late pantry if you're staying in the club room the first option is the same level one and the second option is the lounge room that we showed you yesterday so basically we ate at level one we already saw know what level 21 has but level 21 actually provides more of an a la carte intercontinental breakfast style not a really buffet style and we went to level one instead overall the variety of the food wasn't really that much and the taste of the entire breakfast was i would say okay only but yeah overall i don't really like the breakfast i would say it's a five or six or maybe six now So guys, so it's 10.55 and we're gonna call and check whether we have a late checkout. As mentioned at the room info in the description of the hotel when we booked, they say there was a guaranteed late checkout or early check-in of about four hours, right? So we're gonna check if we have a late checkout and double confirm if we have a four hour late checkout. Hi, can I check if we are able to do a late checkout today? Um, one moment sir, allow me to check. Yep. 1 p.m. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so, so just to double confirm, because when we did the booking, they mentioned that there was a guaranteed late checkout or early check-in. Let's see if you book directly with the hotel, sir. I believe you booked through the travel agent. Ah, okay. Yes. So yeah, you heard from her first. We only have a late checkout of 1pm and the late checkout or early check-in is only for bookings through the main website and not through a third party. <laughs> Welcome to the end of this hotel review and overall I will give this hotel an 8 to 8.5 out of 10. I wanted to give it 8.5 because I really like the club room with club benefit. However, because they never give us late checkout as promised. But yeah, for my overall rating, I would say it's a 7.10. Good location, semi good facilities except for the gym. And being such a tall hotel, there are barely any views from the entire hotel, even on the 27th floor, even from our hotel room. Even from the 12th floor, you could barely see anything because everything is covered with the facade and the vegetation. And this is the end of this hotel review. We hope you like this video and if you do, remember to like, share and subscribe. And I hope this hotel review has helped somebody in choosing a hotel staying in Singapore. So, see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.